Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to bring you a little bit of Battle Royale. So Geo Average versus Geo Lord. Two different outlooks there. And the names say it all. Um, okay. Driving on the right, we've got a yellow central line. Where's the sun? A bit behind that cloud. So I think we're in South America. Let's travel down here a little bit. A few people getting guesses in. There's others still having a look around for clues. Is that size down there? Let's have a look a bit further. Uh, there's a sign here. I don't know where that is. Bacalar. <clears throat> okay, that was a, a decent guess. <laughs> Put me into a second, and it was. Just in Mexico, very near to Belize. Right, this time we're in Europe. Those bollards look familiar. I'm probably supposed to know what they are. Any language signs anywhere? Radfahrer Absteigen. So that sounds very German. Let's go for German, Germany. Not sure it is. Let's plonk it right in the middle. Only person to have guessed so far. Okay, one either side of me. Two either side. Or three below. Okay, I think I'm probably going to be safe here. Yeah, right in the middle. And it was actually West Germany. Let's find Dusseldorf. Hmm, this looks like it could be the UK, but it could really be anywhere, I guess. Um, I mean, it could be Ireland, UK, anywhere in that pylon didn't look very UK actually. Just going past that, could be uh, Western Europe, anywhere. Could do with a, again a bit of language. Okay, so that's French. No places that I'd recognise, but let's let's go up here maybe. Okay, we're 105 miles ahead of the next person. Now just behind Bobo. We're being jumped here, but I think we might be all right. I wonder if one of the... Um... No, it was Western France, so not a bad guess. A little bit further south. Okay, so very winter coverage here. Cyrillic. Right, this looks like, was it this, they're just building this or is this deserted? I really don't know where this is. I mean, I would guess Russia, Eastern Russia or Northern. Eastern Russia, but it could be, could be something like Mongolia. I don't know. Let's just guess up here. Could be absolutely way off the scent. In danger of going out here. Okay, that's better. So Mongolia was a better shout by the looks of it. Excellent. That's not bad, is it? 
a sign here which makes me think of Turkey. Um, European plates. I don't know if Turkey had European plates. It's not doing it in the middle of the street. It's a bit daft, isn't it? Um, right. Let's mosey on down here a little bit. I don't know, does this look Turkish? Yeah, it definitely looks like Turkish language. It doesn't, maybe it's um, over by Trabzon or something. Let's, let's have a crack for that. No. That didn't help. Okay, we went too far, that's why. Yeah, we've got a little woody. And not a lot else. Um, pines. Ooh, probably very uh, obvious. I mean, they, I don't think I've seen those sort of bollards before with the orange stripe around there. Quite distinctive. Where is this? I've got no idea where this is. Is this sort of uh, Lithuania or something? Let's get a guess in because I'm, I'm going to need to judge this against other people's guesses, I think. Ooh, right in the middle, but quite a distance from whoever is at the top there, Bobo. That was Denmark. Okay, that's interesting. So those bollards are Danish. They look quite distinctive. I hopefully will remember those in the future. And we've got some obvious signs here. Let's have a look for these. This could be a close one. D1, road D1, Jelina. It kind of looks... Check. It kind of doesn't. I'm not sure about that. Do they have D1? No. Shilina. Shilina. What language is that? Uh, they have R roads. Maybe it's Slovakia. Gonna have to get a guess in here. Jelena, there's Jelena. We're heading north. So we're probably about there somewhere. Oh, we're that side of it. Last three. I've got quite a few guesses here um, that are banked. Border service. This is Germany. We've got the .de domain. Which area of Germany? Oh, that's quite distinctive, isn't it? Well, I wish I knew where that was. It doesn't, I'd say maybe Munich or something doesn't look like Berlin. No. I'm really not sure. Maybe Hamburg. Yes, that looks more like it. Does it have a tower? Swat on, excellent. Um, but let's try and use them. Oh, this is going to be tricky, I think. I think we're in. What are they doing there? I think we're in South America somewhere, maybe Mexico. I'm going to guess Mexico. Let's go reasonably near Mexico City to start with. 
We are 3,000 miles away. Where does that put us? Oh dear. <laughs> I thought closer, so it can't be in Asia. Oh, so it must be in Brazil. It didn't look like Brazil to me. No! Oh no, it was further north. Gusted. As I say, so having those guesses doesn't necessarily mean anything. Ten guesses is too many to actually use in one round anyway. And I went the wrong direction. I didn't pick up Brazil at all from that. Um, so second place. A bit frustrating. Um, I think we may have another go. Right, Japan, very Japanese cards, are we going to be able to pick up any clues as to where? It looks pretty urban, I'm thinking this is pretty central. But it's sort of in that triumvirate of no Kyoto, Osaka, and Kobe doesn't work. Let's go nearer to Tokyo. That looks better, but still not as good as it could be. In the middle of the pack, though, I might be safe. I don't know whether to bank another one up here or if it is in Tokyo, and I just need to narrow that down. No, it was further north. Sendai would have been a better guess, but I didn't need it, so that's fine. Although, as I think as the last round proves, there's no point really banking 10 guesses for the final round. So use them when you're not sure. Um, this is a lot for me, a lot of the time. Okay, that looks, yeah, it's like French Mercy, it is French. Whereabouts in France? Looks fairly built up. Let's go for Paris. Wouldn't say it's right in the middle. Maybe it is. Or maybe it's the other side. Doesn't look attractive enough to be in right in the middle. And we are 49 miles away, so we're not in Paris. I'm definitely at risk here. Nope. <laughs> Is it Belgium? No, it's right. Yeah, Mon. Okay, here we are, very mountainous. Hmm, so maybe Bulgaria or maybe Albania, somewhere around that sort of area. Forty nine miles, I don't know, I think this is probably a little bit of a tricky one, and I don't feel particularly comfortable just relying on that. That didn't help, so we are more likely to be over here, maybe further north. I think we could be all right though, we could get through here. I've only got one guess. I need to, to bank some guesses. I'm not getting close enough, so I'm not getting the additional bonuses. Okay, uh, it's very distinctive looking footage is that called gen 2 i think um we're driving on the left so i'm thinking south africa feels like 
um, let's plonk it here. Okay, lazy eyes is very far away. Still ahead at the moment. Okay, that wasn't a bad guess at all. Guesses of anyone there. And here we're in New Zealand. And I think there are bins quite often there. So Auckland, we're in Auckland somewhere. Let's get a guessing because people are going to get this. So we need to probably think about, let's go north of New Zealand to start with. That's not bad. North of New Zealand, north of Auckland, I meant. I don't really want to, I don't have many guesses, so I'm going to try and save that. Still ahead. That looks like this possibly the city centre there to the uh, to the east. So maybe we're over this sort of side near in the Henderson area. No, I was. <laughs> wow, what again? That is unbelievable. Two hundred and ninety-eight yards. That's the most incredible guess I think I've ever done. Um. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, Hitachi. Um, so we're in Japan, and it's very built up by the looks of it. I feel like I'm going to have to go to Tokyo at this point, but it... edging towards Yokohama. No, 220 miles away from the nearest guess. Let's go Osaka. Yes, okay, good. I needed to get that in because I was definitely at risk of going out there. Definitely get on better with distance mode than country. I just I think the the pace required for the latter rounds of country mode just catches me out. I don't have that that level of knowledge. Um, right, I'm really not sure about this one. It looked that looks like Cyrillic. Not sure what that character is there. That's kind of evil looking character. Don't have European plates. I'm not really not sure about this at all. Uh, I'm almost tempted to go into Kazakhstan or no I'm miles away. Is it Greece? Oh dear, I oh dear. It wasn't so ridiculous, it was Greek. That's why the E threw me entirely. That was a cock up. Fourth spot, that was disappointing. I think I was progressing reasonably well there. I uh, just did not recognize the language there. It definitely confused me. Um, so that's pretty frustrating, but not, not a bad couple of rounds. Definitely better than my average score at the moment. So it's gonna keep improving it. Um, Still trying to find those elusive wins, though. I think I'm running at about 10% for wins. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Please come again, watch another video, like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks very much.